In today's episode of Rocker Family Homestead, it is April the 8th. Everybody's predicting that the world is going to come to an end, but I'm going to give you an update on the homestead. Stay tuned. Right, back at it so I'll show you what uh what an update on the homestead is today so pretty much the problem that I have I got four big dogs man got three pit bulls and a rottweiler and uh this one right here that's Bella right there female need a thousand likes for Bella we got Bruno right there these are the first two that we had but um my female pit bull she's the only female that I have is they were getting out and um i'll show you what the original fence looked like so the original fence and it was like this wire and they were so strong they were pulling that apart so i left the old fence up intact but what i did this uh starting yesterday uh which was sunday man i went to lowe's put an order in uh for all of the material and then to this morning i went back and picked it up at about 8 30 didn't get home till about 10. i started uh drilling my holes with my auger got a gas auger drilling all my post holes and then um pretty much getting that going but i'll show you man if you if you're a follower of the most high it talks about not following the ways of the world it talks about you know living in the world there's nothing you can do about that but not adopting the ways of the world. So while people were focused on the world coming to an end, the total eclipse and all of this and all of the false prophecy, hey, you see it was just a regular day, man. And uh, today was spent laboring with these hands on Monday, April the 8th. Pretty much got the, uh, I used some double, double pickets at the bottom for like a dig barrier. And you can see she's already investigating to see what's going on but um i'll show you this part and these pickets are six feet tall and i, I ran i used for the railing i used two by four by tens back there and then four by four by eights for the post and then i used uh to put the pickets in i used uh t25 inch and a half uh screws for the rails, I use three inch T25 head screws and for the railings on there. And I made a cool little tool. I'll show you guys later on if I got to do it. But uh, if you see, let me show you. The original fence is still back there. And uh, I got to get another gate because I took the gate that was right here and put it right here and mounted it. But I'm going to put another one right there. So if they do get out, they got two uh two different you can see how let me show you what pit bulls do so if you got dogs and you got land they, that all that water is because they tore up the sprinkler head right there um they chew i had i used to have hose a hose there to run for their water they chewed up the water hose so what i did was i gave them less space they're getting less space now just enough for them to be able because uh biggie right here my rottweiler what he likes to do is take items out of the house and bring them out in the yard. And you see uh, my wood pile over there, he'll drag wood all across the yard. And then when you come cut the grass, you have to uh, pick all that mess up. When it comes to uh, poop cleanup, man, it's just, uh, so it, you're gonna spend about a good two hours picking up stuff, poop, all of that in this big area. And this area was too much for him. So what I did was uh, pretty much give them a, a smaller space. Once I get another gate, if I wanna let them out for the day and them to come outside and, and get the full range, I'll let them do that. But uh, one thing I'm gonna do is, since my septic tank um, feeds these sprinkler heads and you see how green the grass is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a in-ground garden over here uh, because how fertile this soil is and you see like, all of the grass right in here is super green. My front yard doesn't look like this. 
So now that I got this fenced in and they can't get out, you see them, look, check them out. Look, they just they just slowly trying to figure out what the heck is going on, man. We So it took to, to do all this fencing, uh, I had my brother-in-law come help me for the last two hours, putting the pickets up, setting the pickets. I still got to uh, draw my string line and you can see it's uh, they're not straight, but I'm gonna trim the edges draw a string line and mark it and trim the edges so everything will sit flush come back and uh flush everything out but started at about let's see started at about 10 10 30 went all the way till about 5 30 and that's a total of seven hours worth of labor if i would have somebody come out and uh do it man you're looking at 2700 bucks to about 3200 bucks to to do this just this little bit of fencing so uh with the price of materials and stuff like that, you know, I didn't spend any, I didn't even spend a third of that uh, in materials. And I already had the auger uh, for the holes. I already had a lot of the tools and stuff like that. So, you know, buying your own tools, if you're constantly doing stuff like this, is definitely beneficial. But um, I got the gate big enough. I got some bricks right there until I can build this area up so they don't dig. But, uh, Where's Bella at? Look, look, look. She trying to see where the, what the game plan is. And we had a we had a uh, a fence like this where we lived before when we lived in the city, and she would try to dig, but they didn't have these uh these double plates at the bottom because if they can loosen up one of those boards, they'll try to do it, and that's kind of like a deterrent. And I'm gonna beef it up a little bit more. What are y'all doing? You see see how sneaky they are? Check them out. Unruly, man. Just, man, they chew up chairs. They chew up chairs, uh, buckets, sprinkler head. I got a sprinkler head right here. And the water's just been, I got to replace that. I'll do that. Show you how to replace that one. And a sprinkler head over there. They just been tearing up. But that's all right, because I'm about to, uh, I'm about to put a garden back here and really get it jumping. I just got to find a tiller to till some of this soil up and then throw some seed in there and we're gonna be cooking probably plant some uh some okra or something like that that or green beans that does real good in the heat and uh yeah man just kick, kick it old school but just showing you today man you know this is what the focus was today you know and i was out here a little bit earlier when that when it started to get kind of dim but man we just pushed on through all praise to the most high pushed on through got it all done you know if the world you know was coming to an end might want to make sure you work out your salvation because predicting all of this stuff and your soul is not right ain't gonna save you in the end no ways so you know laboring with that hands man laboring with those hands getting it done i still gotta come back here they drag socks and paper anything they can uh get their hands on they were dragging out in the yard and now they got this condensed in space. So very happy and uh, uh, fortunate to be able to have time today to do it and get it done. So there you have it. I'm gonna probably, probably uh, if you look at the perimeter, once I put this gate here, they'll have two layers to have to go through. They have the first layer and then the second layer, which hopefully will contain them. And that goes way back over there, but I'm only gonna give them limited access to this now because uh, just the damage they did to that wire fence. And it was, if you got like small dogs, stuff like that, that might do, but that wire fencing for, for big dogs like this, didn't do them any good. They were eating through that stuff. So there you have it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rocker Family Homestead. Need a thousand likes for Biggie Smalls right there, baby, baby. We got Bella right there aka Lil Kim and we got Bruno Mars right there crush a lot right there Bruno Bruno yep Bella Bella Biggie we doing hmm we y'all doing hmm we doing huh we doing yeah you wanna say what's up to the people hmm you wanna say what's up to the people there you go right there uh, I know what you want tell me why you put this fence up Biggie Rottweiler's real jealous, man. Don't like nobody jumping on you. See how long he is, man? Joke is long. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
I know. But there you have it, man. Just giving you an update. You know, while people was counting on the world to going to an end, and hey, we was out here getting it. Rocket Family Homestead out.